Denver Nuggets 115. Lakers 99. I don't even have the proper fucking shit on here right now. And you know what? Like I said, there's no need to. The Lakers aren't putting any effort. I don't even want to fucking put any effort on this shit. Oh, boy. 115 to 99. Here's the thing, boys and girls. I'm not shitting on the Denver Nuggets right now. They look like a formidable squad. They are the second in the Western Conference. That is no small feat, okay? But what seems to have small feet, a.k.a. small dick syndrome, a.k.a. no fucking balls in their pants, seems to be the Los Angeles fucking Lakers. And every time I gotta talk about the goddamn Lakers, I gotta talk about LeBron James. Mr. Oh, I surpassed Michael in something. Great. Are you here for participation badges and, you know, goddamn bouquets of flowers every time you do something great? Like, I get it, man. You're, you're doing great things in terms of these statistical things, right? The, these fucking categories of physical phenomenon. But we can't win games. We can't win games. It's just... I, 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 I I got nothing. I got nothing. Kyle Kuzma was injured for this game. Uh, Brandon Ingram was going to be out this game. So I had zero to no expectations of winning today. I really didn't. But my problem always becomes this. The Lakers make it so fucking close. And then they, for whatever reason, figure out in the fourth quarter that, hey, let's just lose this game. Why the fuck not, right? Just try to lose this shit. It'll be fun. It'll be hilarious. L-O-L. No one's laughing. And, and again, I just, I, I just, as a Lakers fan, it just, it just dawns on me that I gotta watch this team for years to come because LeBron James is stuck here. Ah, you know, all the excitement I had about LeBron James coming to the Lakers, it, it just kind of all died with this season's hope in the last few games here. Oh, yeah, LeBron only needs to win X amount of games. That's not how this shit works. You got to try to come in with the mentality of winning every fucking night. You know what this guy comes in with the mentality of? Executive producing for 2 Chainz new album. Get fucked. Oh my god, you goddamn pseudo-celebrity. You only come to Los Angeles to boost your ego and your Hollywood cre credibility to be able to executive produce musical albums and movies, Space Jam's The Electric Boogaloo. <sighs> Meanwhile, the Lakers are failing miserably. So, there you have it, boys and girls. A very... Very upsetting night. Again, I'm not trying to take anything away from the Joker, uh, the cuntback Jamal Murray, who I do not like at all. But I'm telling you, boys and girls, the Denver Nuggets are going to be a very difficult team to face in the NBA playoffs. Whereas the Lakers will be at home again for X amount of years continued to watch at home. And LeBron James being the anchor of that cancerous locker room. Thank you, LeBron. And Rich Paul, and Magic Johnson, and Rob Palenka, and Jeannie Buss for creating, again, and perpetuating this toxic environment known as the Los Angeles fucking Lakers. If you feel like following more of this paranoid, just diatribe of a sycophantic Lakers fan, I don't fucking know. Alright, but follow me at the Sky Lounge, and all the links in the description below. Like, comment, and subscribe for more daily content. Now, fuck off.